Hey guys, you might have noticed that this is the same video that was uploaded previously, but I wanted to make it again because I made a few mistakes in that video and I don't really like making mistakes in videos. Also, another thing is I wanted to include Google's model in the video as well. This video is going to follow the same format as before, but we're going to be using the correct models and we're also going to be using Google's 1.5 model as well. So, as you can see from this article in The Guardian, I was just browsing The Guardian. I'm on holiday at the moment in Italy, and I was browsing The Guardian as I do pretty much every day, and I noticed th this article here, AI race heats up as OpenAI, Google, and Mistral, or I don't actually know how to pronounce that, release new models, launches within 12 hours of one another, and more activity expected in the industry over summer. It looks like it's going to be a very, very interesting summer, and it looks like that this is actually the last OpenAI model f before something like GPT 4.5 or something. So it actually says here, an hour after Google released Gemini Pro 1.5, OpenAI released its Frontier model, the final version of GPT 4 Turbo. So it sounds like the next model of GPT will be GPT 4.5 is obviously incredibly exciting. But what I wanted to do in this video is to give the same prompt that I've been using recently to test these models out. Now, if you don't know what this prompt is, basically it's a test of the contextualizing ability of these models. So what I've got here is 27 pages of basically links and it's basically a link and it also has a title and they're just products from iSuits, which is a company that I, I used to work for and still do a bit of work for. And basically the prompt is just please choose 10 relevant products and designer links for an article about black tie attire for men. The products selected must fit exactly with the article. Now, if you don't know, the reason I'm doing this exact test is that black tie attire for men again, apologies if you've already watched this video today, um, has a very, very specific dress code. Basically, if you don't wear a black tuxedo with a black bow tie and a white shirt, if you're not seriously rich, then you're borderline trolling, okay? Now, you can, if you're very rich or very famous, do something like wear a gray tuxedo, or a midnight blue tuxedo, as you can see here. I uh, actually can't remember who that is, but I know that he's hella famous. Oh God, Bradley something, Bradley Cooper maybe is his name. Um, but you can see in general, you know, it's a black tie um, with a white shirt, a black bow tie with a white shirt, and a black tuxedo. It's also known as a smoking jacket. They're kind of, they're not quite the same thing, but you can wear a smoking jacket or a tuxedo. If you're not wearing one of those two things, then you will be laughed at, basically. So the, what I find is that this is a really good test of the contextualizing ability of these models. And it's also something that's very, very important for what we do, which is, of course, writing SEO articles using AI. So the first one is, of course, the new GPT model. I do have access to it. It's right here, GPT Turbo 2024. 0409 as you can see that's the newest model i'm going to put all of these in the system prompt and i'm actually going to turn the temperature down and then we're also using a vpn to get access to gemini 1.5 because gemini 1.5 is not available in uh, italy or ireland or the united kingdom so i have to use a vpn uh, to go to the united states which is kind of annoying but yeah it is what it is so apparently you can't change the temperature, so I'm actually going to put the temperature back up to 1, just to try and keep the test, you know, as fair as as fair as fair we possibly can. Claude, I don't believe, has a temperature. So what we're going to do is we're going to send all three of these prompts, and then I'm going to go through the answers one by one, and we're going to give each one a rating. And we're just going to see how each one does. So this should be a pretty interesting test. Sorry if the sound is a little bit quiet, guys. I am on my laptop. Uh, I don't have my, you know, my good microphone and stuff, so... So we can see on Twitter here, major, majorly improved GPT for turbo, turbo model available now in the API and rolling out in ChatGPT. Now, 
I don't know if this is true or not, to be honest with you, and a lot of people are doubting this, just like I am. Some people, for example, what does majorly improved mean? Very good point. And then probably the best point here is Peter J. Liu, who actually works for Google, apparently. I don't know if that's true, but you know, people make all sorts of claims on Twitter. I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt. Have we forgot or forgotten how to quantify improvements? Well, that's a reference to is normally when you say, when a big company says major improvements, they would have to show data, they would have to show graphs, they would have to show benchmarks. There's none of that here. All they've done is said it's majorly improved and they've got 3 million views from it. Each of those 3 million views, let's say all, pretty much everyone of those views is going to run a prompt. So they basically just made themselves a crap ton of money just from this one change. And hopefully what they're doing, or hopefully for them, is taking people back from Claude Opus. If you don't know right now, or before this video, before today, before the 9th of April, um, Claude Opus was the most intelligent model. We're about to see if that's still true. Let's just get into the results here. So, we're going to give one point if you can wear the piece of clothing that has been selected um, to a black tie tire event. We're going to minus one point if the it's a really ridiculous suggestion and you get zero points if it's just a wrong suggestion. So for example, Sartorio Napoli, remember this is GPT-4 uh, Turbo 2024-0409. Sartorio, Sartorio Napoli Blue Virgin Wool Mohair Suit. This is an awful suggestion. I'm not gonna minus one, but the, I'm really disappointed by that. Boss Black Virgin Wool Suit. You absolutely cannot wear this to a black tie tire event. So we're on zero. Cesare Attalini Blue Wool 130s suit. That is a another zero. You cannot wear a normal suit. Kiton Blue Cotton Smoking Blazer. So we actually have a winner here. But each time I do want to check because it's been inventing, ChatGPT has been inventing a lot of links recently. So I do want to check whether this is actually a real link. It seems to actually be a real link. So that is one point. And then kit on black, blue pants, smoking. These are also, this is fine. You can wear this to a black tie tire event. So two, that's fine. Uh, yeah, that's completely fine. So like I said before, smoking is another word for like tuxedo. They're not quite the same thing, but whatever. Just for this video, they're the same thing. So that's two so far. Sartorio Napoli blue virgin wool EA blazer. You cannot wear that. So we're still on two. Barber Napoli black leather suede shoes. Now these are, uh, you cannot wear these, but I'm gonna give this point to ChatGPT because from the text that it has available, uh, it, it, it doesn't know, for example, that these shoes are actually sneakers, okay? So if I open this link here, you'll see that you, you can't wear these to a black tie tire event. However, you can see you would be able to wear some black leather suede shoes to a black tie tire event. So I'll give it three points there. That's fine. That's three. Fioroni black cotton polo. Yeah, you. Th this is minus one. You cannot wear a, a polo half zip. To, so yeah, that's minus one, guys. Really disappointing. You were doing so well, ChatGPT. But to make up the numbers, you just decided to go off script and just invent a load of crap. So that's minus one. So now we're on two. Grand Sasso blue virgin wool sweater gilet. You cannot wear a sweater gilet. We're going to have to minus another one here. Such a shame. Now we're on one. Chat GPT, very, very disappointing. Hinamore, light blue, white cotton linen shirt. I'm not going to minus one for this. Um, th this is fine. You can't really wear this to a black tie tire event, and it should know that because it does say blue in it. You wouldn't wear a multicolored shirt. You definitely wouldn't wear that shirt, but we'll give it the benefit of the doubt. We'll give it two out of ten. Okay, so we'll make a note of that. So yeah, not a great result. However, just because I'm curious, I'm gonna actually run it again while I'm looking at the other ones and I'm gonna put it on zero temperature. I just wanna see if temperature makes a huge difference or not. So while we're looking at Gemini, we'll let that run. Okay, this is still going somehow. So we'll have a quick look at uh, Claude, which is my current freight favorite. Number one, KNT black wool dress pants smoking you can definitely wear this it hasn't given me the link so i can't actually check if the item is real um 
but I also can't really give it the benefit of the doubt. So what I'll do is I'll copy this, I'll control F and I'll look for it. Doesn't actually seem to be here. Yeah, here they are. Okay, so the Claude results look amazing. Okay, I will say that, but I'm just gonna say, can you also give me the link to each image and embed it, please? The reason I'm doing that is because I do want to check that each of these are actually real. I don't want to just say, yep, fine, perfect, well done, Claude, because it looks like Claude has got li like literally seven out of 10. So I'm just gonna run this again and say, can you give me the links to each item? Okay, we'll let that run and see if this is actually real, for example. So we'll click here. Okay, so yeah, it is actually real, perfect. So we'll let that run and we'll look at Gemini for now. Gemini is still going. Okay, so Gemini has finally finished. Let's have a look at how it's done. Number one, Sartorio blue Napoli suit you cannot wear. It says the tuxedo and it's given me two suits. So yeah, two suits, complete fail. That's zero out of 10. You cannot wear a multicolored shirt, zero out of 10. Yellow linen shirt, come on, dude. Zero out of 10, minus one, I mean, minus two for yellow. Okay, kit on, you can wear this. You can wear a burgundy belt as long as you're wearing a burgundy uh, tuxedo. So we'll give it that one. If you went in beige espadrilles, you would be kicked out of the party. So that's a minus one. So I think we're on minus two. Sneakers, minus three. Sheepskin coat, minus four. Bomber coat, minus five. And then these are not even products. So yeah, Gemini, complete fail on this particular test. A lot of people are saying, why are you doing this particular test? If you don't know, the way that I write articles is I take um, a, a site map, a Shopify site map, and I, and I will show you actually something quickly, uh, show you that it works very, very well. But basically I have a system that can draw from a site map, but the problem is site maps are very, very long. Like we have, you know, 2,000, 3,000 products. So the ability to take a large amount of data and turn it into an article is the most important thing for me and for, you know, a lot of people who follow me as well. So this might seem like a weird test to some people, but this is just, you know, the, the test that we like to do. So yeah, Gemini, we can put minus five out of 10, terrible. This is Gemini, terrible. And then, yeah, final one is Claude. Let's have a look here. I'll be completely fair. I will minus Claude if it messes up. So the first one is a pass. This is a one. This is one out of 10 so far. Second one, I mean, it it, it does say KNT. I don't know why, because it's actually kit on, but I'm not gonna minus it because this is actually fantastic, a really good choice. A white cotton shirt, this is not white, so we'll keep that on two. Kit on burgundy belt, three out of 10. This is a normal suit. I mean, if you don't have a tuxedo, you can wear a normal suit, but I'm not gonna give it a plus, obviously, because I didn't with the other ones. Uh, this, you can't wear that. You cannot wear that either, but that's fine. So we're on three. We're still on three. It says white cotton shirt, but it's actually not a white cotton shirt, which is kind of weird. Cesare Attalini smoking pants, that's four out of 10. And like I said before, I, I gave a point, I think to ChatGPT, I can't remember if I actually gave the point. So we'll, we'll be safe here and just say, this is four out of 10 for Claude, four out of 10. Now, for some reason, it's done something very strange, which is where it's actually invented a few things, um, like this. It's claiming it's a white shirt, but it's not. And I think there are some white shirts here. Oh, no, there aren't actually. Oh, no, white cotton shirt. Anyway, that's fine. Let's see what ChatGPT did now that we put it on zero temperature. So, boss black suit, that's a no. Uh, this is a no. This is a yes, so that's one. This is a two. Two, 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 minus one, 
Um, no, you can't wear that. So one out of ten. So with with the temperature at zero, it actually got worse. So you can see, guys, just like I said in my previous video, although I accidentally selected the wrong model here, so the video looked a bit stupid. Claude is still the most intelligent model when it comes to choosing large amounts of choosing from large amounts of data and giving context to an article, which that just happens to be the most important thing for what we are doing personally. Now, this is the last thing I want to show you guys before I go. This is Two Men. This is the website that was built using the logic that I've talked about in this video, using the Shopify sitemap to embed products inside an article. And you can see that it's done hella good, hella, hella good. It's now getting, you know, between 550 and just about to peak at 700, I would say, clicks per day, which is absolutely amazing. Using the exact logic that I've shown you in this video, we're using Claude for all of our internal processes now, Claude Opus, I mean, none of the other Claudes. We're using specifically Claude Opus for pretty much everything we do. Thanks for watching, guys. If you're watching all the way to the end, you're an absolute legend, and I'll see you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out.